What's up guys? I'm back with another video and this time again I'm gonna bust a hit and this is a big time hit. I mean uh, even people who are in to fitness believe in this bit so it, it needs to be cut out right is spot reduction possible i mean spot reduction of fat okay so a lot of people ask me how to lose belly fat face fat arm fat like girls especially uh, fat on your butt uh, legs thighs number one i tell you very clearly spot reduction is a myth any person who tells you spot reduction is possible you can slap the taste out of his mouth okay not literally but then yes that is how you need to treat that particular advice from him okay anyone anyone tells you spot reduction is possible it is not okay now so your question would be how how does fat loss work okay so when you're on a diet when you're cutting down calories i've already posted how to cut down calories why you cut down calories so I'll link the video, you can have a look at it. Uh, when you create a deficit, a calorific deficit in your diet, you start, your body starts to burn up the stored fat to convert it to energy, right? Because you're not giving the you know, uh, the adequate amount of calories which is which is basically required for your calorific maintenance. Okay? So if that is not happening, your body burns the fat. But again, the body will burn the fat uniformly throughout your body. Okay? It will not be like if you work out a particular part, it's going to burn belly fat. If you work out a particular part, it will take away your chest fat. It doesn't work like that. Okay? The second part of it being, uh, the question that you will ask me is how is the entire function or the, the entire mechanism working? The mechanism, again, is dependent on that particular person. Now, we cannot generalize a particular body. Right? Everybody is different. Everybody has different character, different facial features, different body features. Exactly the same way the genetics of fat burning is also very different. Now we have three varied or three basic categories that are there. Mesomorphs, endomorphs and ectomorphs. So people who don't know endomorphs are people who are naturally uh, fat, naturally husky. They gain weight very quickly. Uh, ectomorphs are people who are hard gainers. And mesomorphs are people who are less people. It's a very small percentage. These less people are naturally muscular and athletic, right? So now that we look at it, but these are just basic generalizations, okay? This does not decide how or where you will store fat. Now, it's not necessarily uh, possible that an endomorph will store fat only on the stomach, right? So that is governed by the law of genetics, okay? So everybody will be different. I tend to hold fat on the chest, I tend to hold fat on uh, my love handles a lot more as compared to the belly. Okay, A lot of the people hold fat uh, on the belly, a lot of people hold face fat, a lot of people hold uh, fat on the thighs. So that will depend upon uh, your uh, genetics and not on how you're working out. So first, take it very clearly, doing crunches will not finish off your ab. Uh, your uh, fat on your uh, belly and actually expose your abs, right? Doing crunches actually works out the abs like doing curls works out the bicep. That's it, okay? The next thing, so doing endless amount of crunches will not get you abs. A good calorific clean diet where you're cutting on uh, the calories, the unhealthy calories, the carbs and creating a good calorific uh, deficit, that is what is going to get you abs in the long run. Okay, so that is the point of the video. Spot reduction is a myth. Whoever tells you that it's possible, please tell them it's not. Okay, and how you go ahead, you need to figure out that yourself because uh, gradually, when you want to lose fat, you will start understanding where you actually hold fat and where and how, or depending upon the sequence of body parts, how your fat tends to peel off. I mean, does it go off first from your belly or your chest? All of that is dependent on genetics cannot be generalized uh, so you'll have to figure that out yourself i'm sorry uh, you can contact me uh, directly if you uh, if you want with your case study and actually help you out in that and yeah myth busted i'll be seeing you